I was always a person who had like a lot of thoughts racing through my head at the same time. And the thing that happens when you paint is that you don't think at all. You're just very focused on the process and focused on what you're painting. I'm not really a vocal person about personal issues. So painting has been a way for me to translate my experiences to people. I painted my own body because um, my art is always steaming from personal conversations. And the reason why I started this project was from the issues I was having with my own body. So it was the first source that I went to for my body paintings. Realizing that I had big boobs, I have a big butt, but um, like when I meet people, it's not what I want them to define me by visually. So it was really trying to figure out how to present myself in this body that felt really new. The issues were um, constantly, constantly editing my body in terms of what I wished it would look like versus what it actually was and how to um, how to dress as a woman, as a black woman. This painting series is called Our Bodies Are Our First Homes. And it was from a quote I read online that said, our bodies are our first homes. So if you cannot find peace there, you won't be able to find peace anywhere. So I asked a few friends and acquaintances to pose for me and I took their pictures and I started painting them. I started painting bodies to address how people personally confront their bodies outside of public spaces. Um, how people look at their bodies, how they want their bodies to be viewed, what they consider a legitimate and valid body. So my process for these paintings involved painting a really flat color on canvas and then painting a body on top of it, but only painting the skin portions of the body so that the clothing and the background of the painting are the exact same color so that the body kind of pops out in contrast to the extremely flat um, surface of the background. What I'm addressing is that sometimes people would look in the mirror or see their bodies and they won't recognize certain parts or the whole body itself as a valid or acceptable body because it does not look a certain way or it doesn't appear a certain way to them based on standards that they set up for themselves or standards that they're receiving from the media or society or social circles. The first set of bodies that I painted, I wasn't really focused on whether or not they were recognizable as acceptable bodies or beautiful bodies to the person themselves. I was more focused, you know, like, oh, I talked to this person about how they felt about their body and then I painted them and I painted them plainly and I painted them just as they were in the picture. So when you looked at the painting, you could tell exactly um, you could really tell that it was a body. You could tell exactly what body parts were being depicted. I think people didn't think of them past that at all. Nobody thought about them past the visual and technical layers. People just thought, oh, this is such a pretty painting. And oh, you're talking about bodies and that's it. Nobody really sought to think about whether or not the conversation that I was trying to have with these paintings had deeper layers at all. The paintings visually aren't communicating the panic of self-editing that I'm trying to paint about. Um, a lot of the response and critique that I've received for the paintings doesn't really step outside of how good their technical qualities are. I don't think it helps me to go to critique every class and have people respond the exact same way. It's just, it's just made painting a very complacent thing and I'm not really excited to go into the studio to paint. It's become so planned and methodical from start to finish. There's really no creativity involved. So in order to make painting bodies an exciting process for me again, one of the things that I've done is that I've reversed the way that I paint. I've clarified what I'm trying to address more to myself. Instead of um, going on Photoshop and combining a bunch of different body pictures together, what I do now is that I um, manually put them together with my eye so that there's less planning involved 
and I'm allowed to be more spontaneous as I paint. This time when I put this painting up for critique, it was just like the longest conversation ever. One of my classmates said that she didn't know what it was a painting of. She didn't recognize it. Um, she didn't know what I was trying to talk about. And she said it looked like chicken wings. And then her and another classmate kind of got into an argument about it. They got into a debate where um, the other classmate said, well, if you don't recognize the painting, does it take away the artist's concept or the artist's intent? And I really loved it. Like that was my favorite critique ever. <laughs> I feel like I, there was a lot of substantial information and basically I was asked to consider as a painter, like, does it matter that someone understands the message you're trying to push when they look at your paintings or does it just matter that they have some response to it regardless of whether or not that response is related to um, your intent and the conversation you're trying to start. It was just really nice to get a response that wasn't the usual basic, oh, that painting looks really nice and pretty and you painted it nice. And I really like how you painted this one body part. It really felt good to get a response that had layers and to get a response that went past the basic visual technical details of a painting.